And then as 2020 went on, we had some really, really big projects that we had to deliver as the UK left the EU, we went into transition, but then UK government said, okay, this is how we're going to operate at the border. One of our sister companies is P&O Ferries, um, and as the Northern Ireland Protocol went from being a kind of politician's pipe dream into something that people were trying to get to work on the ground, we had a super busy second half of the year um, as we were putting new systems in place to support that customer group. So yes, in we had the combination of all of that change because of the pandemic, but also delivering new systems to support Brexit requirements.